Welcome back. We are here looking at the NASDAQ, and this is going to be my weekly forecast for April 18, 2022. If you'd like to support our channel, you will hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and let's get to it. So we'll start by looking at the daily chart first. So NASDAQ had this really nice channel that it was in for nearly two years and broke out of that channel um, in the beginning of this year. Since then, it has been formed. It basically fell off a cliff. It went down roughly 20%, recovered nearly half, ran into the uh, 61.8 60, uh, uh, retracement right here and the 200 moving average. And then we have been falling yet again. We're right, right, right now around the 50 Fibonacci retracement. And the question is whether or not we break through this Fibonacci retracement and go back towards the bottom here or probably significantly lower than that. Or we are basically forming a head and shoulder uh, pattern here. So I can write that up. So first shoulder, head, shoulder. And if this is the case, then we should see this market basically do something like that. And the measure move here is basically 3000 points. So we'll be getting close to 19, 20,000 points this year. Basically the end of this, this should be basically um, the end of um, uh, probably uh, next in next few months, we should just see this market rally significantly. That is whether or not we basically turn around here and head towards the upside. If we do, then this pattern could be viable. If we break below here on the Monday or in the beginning of the next week, and then we may go and retest at this bottom and break in below this bottom, then we'll go to significantly uh, lower levels. We have been making lower highs. You see right here, you also have it here. And uh, yes, that basically means that we would see this market go even further down, rally, then go even further down. And uh, we would basically be looking at a market that is definitely a, a significantly um, a significant downtrend. So, so that is to be seen. Uh, we will get final confirmation on that um, on Monday. So get rid of that. So if you look at just technical indicators for the daily chart, we can see that MACD is still very bearish. You can see stochastic is also bearish and the RSI is also bearish and there's a lot of room to the downside. So it is possible that will go significantly lower. If you look at the, the cloud, for example, there is not a selling signal at this current stage. There is a buying signal, signal right, right here. here. It was here at the 13.8K. It rallied also significantly after this, uh, but now we have basically broken through. If we get this blue line crossing this red line yet again, which is roughly at 14.1, then there's basically a, a selling signal and that is an additional uh, uh, warning that we'll basically see significantly lower levels. So let's go to the weekly chart. So weekly chart looks something similar, something like this. We do have a selling signal here in the weekly chart. It happened right here. This was uh, in the 17th of, uh, of January, where the nine moving average crossed the 26 moving average. And uh, we have been basically falling ever since. We did rally up towards the 50 moving average in the weekly chart and got rejected there. And that is also uh, the 56.8 uh, Fibonacci retracements right around uh, this area. If we write it up, then we'll get right around this area here. So we got rejected and at the moment we are basically inside of the cloud and uh, the rule of thumb is that you don't trade when you're inside the, uh, the cloud. It basically means that this market can go down or it can go up. If you're above the cloud, uh, then you are basically an uptrend. If you're underneath the cloud, you're in a downtrend. So officially in the weekly chart, we're still not in a downtrend. We're not even in an uptrend. The market's kind of figuring out where we are going from here. But if we break below the lows of uh, early uh, March, then we will definitely go below uh, the cloud and we will be in a significant downtrend. If you look at technical indicators for the weekly chart, we can see the MACD is bearish, stochastic is bearish and RSI is bearish as well. And there's a lot of room to the downside. If you look at historically, 
there's not been many uh, instances where we have been trading or trending uh, below the cloud. We have to go way back to basically the dot com bubble area where we have seen this market go significantly underneath the cloud. This was basically back in 2018, where the market fell around 45 percent, if I remember right. And there were a lot of um, issues with the market back then. So first of all, there was a terror war between United States and, and China, basically the rest of the world. You had uh, you had the central bank increasing interest rates and it also was tightening up quantitative easing which the, they are actually trying to do right now but we do not have a trade war but we do have a real war and we could see very similar uh, things happening in the market uh, now uh, like we did back in 2020 so at the moment we are basically just hanging around there's no clear signal in the weekly chart whether or not we are going to rally or we are going to break down. So uh, if we look at the monthly chart, we can see that we we have to go way, way back in order to find a buying signal for this market. It was all the way back. Wait. Right here, yes. So it was all the way back in 2010 where the market crossed uh, the nine moving average crossed uh, the 26 moving average and we have basically been in an uptrend ever since this has been the longest rally in in history for the stock market and it also has become ridiculous if you just look it out look at this it just looks like a hockey stick it's very similar to uh, most of the cryptocurrency that have been that uh, that have just gone straight through the uh, to the roof and then are ready to collapse the nearest we can compare this to is basically the dot com bubble It's right here so the 90s were amazing uh, for the stock market and there are similarities we could be seeing something similar to this but if that is the case we are basically in the early phases of this so this took roughly two years from 2000 all the way to 2003 in order for it to to or mid 2002 in order for it to bottom and then it started to rally all the way to 2008 financial crisis and since then we have basically been rallying but in 2000 and if you go all the way back toward to the area of uh, the dot com bubble you can see that the 90s were fantastic peaked here at 4,899 and then ended on the bottom roughly here at 808. So yes, it lost a heck of a lot of its uh, of its value, but this was mainly due to the fact that there were a lot of crappy companies out there which basically didn't have any value and, and then basically the bob, bob, bubble burst. We could also see uh, similar sim similarities to the market today because the Fed has basically been propping up uh, a lot of companies that should have gone bust, especially in the coronavirus. Um, when that occurred, they were basically buying bonds and so on, keeping the market afloat and companies afloat, which should have, should, should have gone bankrupt. And if the Fed is not saying right now, we're not going to help you or you're on your own, then we may be seeing a lot of selling occurring. And it's not until basically we break below this um, this cloud here and the nine moving average crosses the uh, 26 moving average that we are officially in a sell signal and this market is going to most likely the next two to three years gonna see a downtrend very similar to what we saw in the dot com era and where we'll find major support is the 200 moving average which at this current stage is around 4882 so this is way into the in the future uh, but there are warning signs especially here because this is the monthly chart and we do have a crossing here of uh, the macd indicating that we are in uh in bearish bearish momentum the same as the casting and so is the rsi and both for the dot-com era it went all the way to the bottom 
Also in the financial crisis, it went all the way to the bottom and we are not even close to being uh, near the bottom. So we could be seeing a period uh, where this market falls for the next two to three years. If you look at Fibonacci retracement uh, for this, you can see right here, just take the very bottom to the very highs. Then we can see that the 50 Fibonacci retracement is here around 9 thousand to 50 uh, 61.8 is right here at 7,000 and we have to go all the way down to uh, the, the um, 78.6 where that 200 moving average is in order to define the 200 basically moving average so we've only tested the first Fibonacci 23.6 is where we found support uh, the last time next one is right here is 10,770 and then the 50 and so on so this will take a long time. We're talking about years, months and years in order to get to this. But a recession is also expected. You're expecting uh, the Fed to basically, basically pull back and, and not help the stock, the stock market. market. And therefore, this market will most likely decline over time. So, hope you find this helpful. If you're willing to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. Good luck and thank you very much.